All right, guys, welcome back to another fly time video. In today's video, we're going to be drinking the famous gross out of uh, Scotland. This was my grandpa's uh, favorite drink, so cheers to him. And cheers to you guys. We're going to flip the camera around and let's get after it. All right, guys, welcome back to the vice. We've got another uh, dam supply pattern here for you today. This is uh, very similar to last week's video. <clears throat> um, we did, uh, actually it was the same damsel. The only difference here is the body. So if you haven't seen last week's video, go ahead and check that out. Um, the body on this one's got a bit more flash to it. So we've added some uh, crinkle mirror flash and uh, some, uh, some buzzer wrap just to kind of get it to stand out a little bit more in the water. Last week's damsel was uh, a marabou body so uh, a lot buggier but less flash so let's go ahead and get started um, there's another difference also the uh, the hook so in the vise today I'm going to be using Togan's curved nymph hook size 12 um, just a bit more of a kind of a damselly damselly look to it if you will so let's go ahead and get started this can be using some uh green UTC 70 tying thread and we're just going to position ourselves right behind the hook eye there as we tie in our first bit of material which is going to be mono eyes in a size mini in a black color so you can see them down there at the bottom um, super easy to tie in I always like to start with it parallel to the hook a couple thread wraps over top and then if I just twist this thing perpendicular um, I can come in here with a couple figure eight wraps and just lock that in. So you don't want to have it, you don't want to have these mono eyes situated too close uh, to the hook eye on your hook. You want them a little bit further back because we're going to be tying in some materials up near the, the hook eye itself. But you also don't want to have it too far back where it throws the proportions of the body off. So once you have it in place, bring your thread in behind those eyes and we can tie in our, start working on our tail. For the tail, we're just gonna be using some marabou. So I've just grabbed a feather just like this, and uh, we're just gonna take off a good clump here for a nice bushy tail, just like so. And all that stuff at the bottom that we've ripped off the stem, we wanna cut that off just to give us a nice, neat tying point. Well, if you, as you can see, as neat as, uh, as, neat as tying marabou gets, and we're just gonna work our work that material back. So you can see all of the marabou plumes that are kind of bleeding through the thread. Don't worry about that. Um, all of that's gonna get cleaned up here as we progress with the fly. Okay, so now let's talk tail length. Uh, for the tail length, marabou, um, or sorry, damsels swim kind of like a snake. So they have lots of movement in the water. So we kind of want to keep it as a, you know, like a longer tail. Um, so I just kind of measured the, uh, the distance with my fingers here of the hook shank and just go a little bit longer. So something like that looks good. Um, also what I like to do is kind of come in here and take, peel off the bottom and a bit off the top. And I just find that it gives it kind of more of a natural tail look. We're going to give this tail a bit of flash. And with that, I have some, uh, crystal flash. So this is a root beer color. The root beer color looks great with the olive. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and tie that in right on top. We're gonna start with my side. I'm just gonna bring the crystal flash down the side of the tail. Flip this around on your guys' side so you can see that. Right where that tail starts is where we wanna tie in our crystal flash and just make sure that we have it kind of situated up like that. Come in here, trim off the excess. We want it Roughly the same size as the tail, maybe a little bit less, just to kind of give that tail a bit of highlights, right? That's looking nice. And now we can bring our thread up to the top here, right behind those eyes. And uh, like I said, don't worry about all this fluff. It's gonna get sucked down here in a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna be tying in our, our wire for some durability to this fly. Um, after the fish takes it a few times, you're going to want to make sure that we're secured down. Uh, so this is an ultra wire and uh, size small in a brown color. Okay. 
as I grab it off the bench here. And I'm just gonna tie this in on my side, right down the shank of the hook. All the way down to where that, <clears throat> excuse me, where that tail starts. Just like so. And uh, cheers guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to give that tail some flat or the tail. We're going to give that body some flash. <clears throat> so what I've got here is the uh, crinkle mirror. This is a peacock black color. So we're going to tie that in, leave that behind the, uh, up there on the vise. And then we're going to be tying in our, the last body material, which is a buzzer wrap in a watery olive. And sorry, I didn't show the, uh, so that crinkle flash, so you can see it, that's the peacock black, which we just tied in. And now I've got the uh, the buzzer wrap and that watery olive that we're going to add in here as well. <clears throat> and I can just bring my tying thread now up behind those uh, up behind those eyes. So we're going to start with the buzzer wrap. I'm just going to wrap this. Wrap this forward. Just make sure that you have the entire body covered. Um, so slightly overlapping wraps. And you can see that any of that marabou that uh, was kind of bleeding through from our tying thread is now just being flattened out. And we got a nice slim body here. I like those damsels nice and slim. We're gonna tie that in right behind the eyes. So a couple of wraps behind and a couple of wraps in front. Trim off the excess. And now we can start with our uh, crinkle mirror flash. And all we're gonna do here is do the same thing, but we're gonna do open segment wraps because we need to leave room for our wire. And this just gives that body a bit of a, a glimmer, some shine under the water. So just like that, and same thing, tie that in behind the eyes. Trim off the excess. And our body's starting to really take shape here. So the last body material that we're tying in is going to be the wire. And you can see that that brown color really looks nice uh, in the contrast with the olive. And as I'm wrapping the wire, I, I want to get it situated as close to that crinkle flash as possible, the, the crinkle mirror flash, because we still want that olive color to breed um, or to bleed through. So tie that off, coming up top here, and we're just going to give this a helicopter to break the wire off. Nice and clean. So there's our body. Um, now we can work on our wing case. So for the wing case, I'm going to be using some peacock, uh, or sorry, pheasant tail. I'm just going to grab about uh, six, yeah, well, yeah, about a half dozen fibers, rip those off, come in underneath there, and uh, we just want to trim off all of that excess just to give us a nice clean tie-in point. We're going to tie these in, and then just basically... Um, we're going to work our thread backwards a couple wraps and then we can bring our thread forward and that's just going to secure that down for our wing case and we can do a little practice right here and bring that forward so that's going to look really nice okay uh, the next material that we're going to be tying in is our premium partridge feather so these come uh, comes in olives it comes in brown uh, comes in a natural color. We're going to be using olive today. So what I've done here is I've just taken one of those feathers and I've just gotten rid of all of the plumes at the back. So clean that stem off and you're just left with the tops. And uh, the trick here is you're just going to grab the very top and then fan out the bottom and that's going to help form our legs. So you kind of make like a makeshift uh, peace sign or Mercedes-Benz logo, whatever, uh, whatever you're kind of looking for there. And you'll notice that the uh, this feather has a natural curvature to it. So we want the concave side facing up. 
and right where that uh, right where we fan those those feathers apart that's where we're going to be tying this feather in right behind the eyes right on top of the fly and uh, you just want to make sure that yeah so this is actually coming in behind so coming on top of the feather secure that in then you can kind of position it just to make sure that it sits right on top a couple more thread wraps and we're going to be cutting off this top section just like that and then I like to do like a couple uh, uh, figure eights here just to make sure we have that feather secured down you can see one guy did not cut so we can trim that off so these are going to be our legs so you can do a little practice run as well pull that forward that's what the legs are going to look like there's one loose guy here at the back so now we can start to build the head of the damsel um, so this is where you would use dubbing now dubbing material works fine uh, i'm actually going to be using some marabou for this portion of the fly so i'm just going to like literally grab off two uh, two plumes here. I'm going to cut off the bottom piece that was attached to the stem. And I'm going to put this onto my thread just like I would dubbing. Uh, form a little dubbing noodle, twist it with your fingers, get it on the thread just like that. Move it up towards the fly. And then I'm just going to come in here and do some figure eight wraps just to build that head up. And uh, we're going to be coming back over it again, but let's add in a couple more. Push that onto our thread. And we're gonna go through this again uh, in, a, in a bit. We're gonna add more, but uh, let's, let's focus on our legs here now. So for the legs, we're gonna bring this forward. I'm gonna swipe the feathers back with my left hand and come in once under I'm gonna come in once underneath with the thread, just to secure that in. And then we can tie off our stem here at the front. So a couple wraps in front and underneath and trim off our stem. Just like so. And now we can add a bit more of the marabou dubbing to cover our thread there and finish off the uh, the head. So I grabbed about four plumes this time, so it's a bit thicker. Twist that on. And then right over top, hide our thread, and then finish off building that body, or sorry, the head of the fly. So that is looking <clears throat> great, excuse me. Now we're gonna bring our wing case forward. So grab all of our pheasant tail, and we're basically just splitting those fibers that we tied in just like that. This takes a little bit of playing around with just to make sure that your, your legs are uh, a split in half, right? So we have the same amount coming in on one side as we do the other. And then you can kind of just like twist them and play with them just to make sure that they're pointing in the direction that you want. But that's looking really nice. So there's our wing case and then tying thread. I'm just going to bring right over top, cinch that down. And you want to pull on it. I know this is a UTC 70 thread, so I can't pull on it too much. And then trim off the excess. To make sure that that's secured in as we grab our whip finish tool right over top. Couple spins of the whip finish and we can cut our tying thread and there we have it. So that is our damsel pattern with some sl a super slim body and uh, 
super slim body and it's also got some flash in the body too so to attract those fish cheers <clears throat> the last thing that we need to do is i'm just going to take a bit of zappa gap um so same thing like we would with a chronomid i'm just going to add a tiny portion to the uh to the body there just to kind of protect protect the wire <clears throat> and protect the uh crinkle mirror flash and be careful not to get your legs or your tail with this stuff and we're going to let that dry um, it's also going to give us a bit more shine too which is going to be really nice but there you have it there is our uh our damsel pattern. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you guys could give our, our page a like, uh, smash that subscribe button. Uh, we'd appreciate that even more. So cheers and thanks for watching guys. Fish on.